So welcome to lecture number five. What we have discussed so far, so humne jo hai, we have talked about weight setting relationship, right? We've talked about weight setting relation. We have talked about price setting relation. All right. So these two relations we have studied. So while you're discussing the price setting relationship, we've kind of assumed a lot of things. So I have mentioned it specifically at separate places. So this was... Um, you know, what we were assuming. So we were assuming what kind of production function do we have? We were assuming uh, what uh, kind of inputs we are using. So we are only using labor. And we assumed that this is the form of the relationship of the production function that whatever is the number of workers that you have, the same is the amount of your output. These kind of assumptions we were having, right? Uh, Okay. Yeah, okay. So these kind of assumptions we were having. So now we want to get further one step and we want to see what happens when this wage determination, this price determination equation, these two things, you know, they are both in equilibrium. So we want to understand that. Okay. This is going to be my agenda for this particular session. So, you see, so rather than saying wage setting, price determination, wage determination, let's do that. Wage determination and price determination. So, what were my relations? क्या क्या रिलेशंस देखे थे हमने मैम फॉर वेज डिटरमिनेशन इट वाज एक्सपेक्टेड प्राइस एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट एंड जेड वाज ऑल द अदर कैजुअल वेरिएबल्स राइट या कैजुअल वेज डिटरमिनेशन इक्वेशन एंड माय प्राइस डिटरमिनेशन इक्वेशन वाज पी इज इक्वल्स टू व्हाट डब्ल्यू टाइम्स वन प्लस एम राइट so W was my nominal wage, M was my markup. Here P is the expected price. PE is the expected price. U is the unemployment rate. Z is the catch-all variable, which covers everything else, which we cannot incorporate in U and PE, right? Okay. So these were the relationships that we have. So from now onwards, whatever discussion we have so far, until and unless I state otherwise, we will also assume, we will assume that price is equals to the expected price. So whatever you are expecting, whatever price that the workers are expecting, is exactly what is going to be the actual price in the economy. This is our assumption. In reality, this assumption may or may not hold, but for now, we will assume this. Is that all right? Yes, ma'am. So we will work under this assumption. This assumption ke under hum log kaam karenge. Hai? Okay, ji. Chalo. Hai? So if I look at the wage determination equation, so under this assumption, I can write it like this. W is equals to P F of U comma Z. I can write it in this manner. Right? So, agar mein isko W by P likhu, so that becomes function of U comma Z. Right? We can do that? Yes, ma'am. And what is this? This is real wage, right? This is real wage. This is unemployment rate.
Z is catch all variable. U is related negatively. Z is related positively, right? So this equation W by P is equals to F of U comma Z. This is called wage setting relation. So what does this tell me? That if there is higher in unemployment in the economy, what kind of relationship do we see here? If the unemployment rate increases, what happens to real wages? Decrease. Real wages should decrease. Why will they decrease? If there is higher unemployment. Because now the workers have lower bargaining power. Perfect. So they have lower bargaining power. So they will have to be. So they will, they will be forced to accept lower real wage, right? Yes, ma'am. Anna? And yes. what kind of and what kind of relationship do we see here? If let's say Z increases, let's say unemployment benefits increase, what happens? The real wages also increase. Real wages will have to go up. Why? Because people, the workers, are going to have more bargaining power now. So they would start declining very low wage offers. So overall, yes, the economy is going to support a higher real wage. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, if I think about this relationship and I want to make a diagram out of this and on the x-axis, I have unemployment rate. On the y-axis, I have real wage. And for any particular relationship that I'm studying, let's say Z is assumed to be constant. So what kind of diagram will we see here? Kis tarike ka diagram hume dekhne ko milega? Downward sloping. Downward sloping, something like this. Can I say something like this? So matlab maan lo, real wage ye hai, to unemployment rate ye hai. Is unemployment rate pay un unemployment rate agar bad gaya hai, toh what happens? People should be willing to accept lower wages, right? Yes? Yes, ma'am. So this is my wage setting relationship. Everybody is okay with this? Are we fine with it? Wage setting relationship. Yes, ma'am. Right? Jalo. So if the first thing is clear, what we can do is we can, we can move on to the second relationship, which is my price setting relationship. So second relationship is the price setting relationship. So what was my price determination equation? It was P is equals to W times 1 plus M, right? If I divide both sides by W, what do I get? This. Hena? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I do the inverse of this also? Yes, ma'am. You know, for my score, W by P is equals to 1 upon 1 plus M. Is it Yes, ma'am. Right? So, what are you saying? What is this W by P? This is real wage. 
What is this M? This is your markup over the cost. So what is markup? Tell me. Markup kya batata hai hume? Ki beyond my cost, how much higher is my price, right? Yes, ma'am. So if the firm's markup is high, what does that mean? High markup, what does high markup mean? हाई मार्कअप का क्या मतलब होगा दैट फर्म इज चार्जिंग मोर प्राइस दैन इट्स कॉस्ट मोर प्राइस रिलेटिव टू इट्स कॉस्ट राइट एंड दैट मींस प्रॉफिट द फर्म इज इंक्रीजिंग प्रॉफिट तो फर्म इज ट्राइंग टू गैदर मोर प्रॉफिट राइट so yes. high markup means that the firm is putting their prices very high relative to their cost which was w right so ye to chalo cost ho gayi now how do you think this is going to impact you as a worker what happens to workers let's say you are working in that firm so the firm whichever firm you were working in it was paying you w wage right theek hai unhone jo bhi whatever product they were selling they increased the price of that product i mean high markup means that only right yes ma'am so let's say if you are not consuming their product will that affect your real wage No, no. No. Let's say this is some food company, and they deal with non-vegetarian products. And let's say you are a pure vegetarian. So, will that impact your real wage? No, ma'am. No, because you are not consuming their products. So, if you think on a very individual level, you might feel like your real wage is not getting impacted, right? But what if every firm in the economy starts to do that? then what happens you will be consuming something or the other kuch to consume karoge aap bhi yes yes sir so high prices would mean what jo bhi whatever basket of goods you are consuming their prices also increased so overall the prices that you are facing increase so what happens to your real wage increases real wage increase ki decrease increases yes, decreases so what does that tell me that if firms increase their markup this leads to decrease in the real wage right is yes, this, this is fine so far okay so now let's say if i want to make a diagram so i can see that this w by p is equals to 1 upon 1 plus m so the real wage that the firm is willing to pay that firm is willing to pay to the worker is equals to 1 upon 1 plus m right is this dependent on unemployment rate at any level is there any relation here with unemployment level do you see any unemployment rate here no ma'am no no so this in the price setting relationship this relationship is independent of unemployment rate yes ma'am right so if i want to make a diagram in the same diagram then what should i do so 
so this was my relationship right this was my relationship this was my weight setting relationship and so let's say this is w by p which is equals to 1 upon 1 plus m right so am i going what kind of line am i going to have i'm going to have a straight line something like this right this will be yes. some constant value so whatever is my unemployment rate it will remain the same this is my price setting relationship yes So what do you see? This is the this is the real wage based on the markup. This is the real wage that the firms are willing to give. These are the real wages that the workers are demanding based on how the environment is outside in the economy. So when do we get the equilibrium? And whatever the firm wants to offer is exactly what the people are also ready to accept. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So where will that happen? At this point? Yes, ma'am. Intersection. Yes. So this is UN and this is your real wage. What is UN? We will come to that. So this particular unemployment rate where Wage setting relation and price setting relation both are in equilibrium. That rate of unemployment UN, that rate is called natural rate of unemployment this value this un is called the natural rate of unemployment and please don't you know be misled with this name natural what is the feeling that you get when you hear this term natural so that is phenomena what is that? Not that it is an employment is happening uh, in either of the condition, like it is going to happen. So this is something which is go always going to be the case, right? Something like that. Yes, ma'am. That people feel disappointed. This is a natural phenomena. Okay. You get sad, sad sometimes, you get happy sometimes. This is a natural phenomena. Matlab, ye cheez to hoti hai. This is by nature. Aisa hi hota hai. But ye jo rate of unemployment hai, aisa nahi hai ki by nature, ultimately, if whatever is the situation, whatever the government is doing, whatever policies are being implemented, it's going to be this only. This is far from the uh, natural situation. So whenever there will be some policy change, some changes are happening, this rate of unemployment is going to change. So don't go by this name and get confused that this is going to be the situation. Okay. So this name is little misleading. Haan, bas iska naam aisa hai, to wo bas, the name has been going on like that. Okay. So this is not natural. Okay. So this is any um, or twelfth me term tha natural rate of unemployment means agar koi job change kar raha hai ya kuch transfer hai, to wo kuch uh, months ke liye, kuch weeks ke liye unemployed hai. Haan. So ma'am, ye uh, ye wahi wala hai. Nahin. Forget 11, 12. Bool jau. Okay. So this is nothing but natural. Whenever there are some policies which are going to change, this will change. Okay. We will see a few examples how this changes. Alright. Yes. So iska naam jo hai, natural ki jo hai, the authors are suggesting we could have said that this is structural rate of unemployment. But you won't see this name anywhere, okay? 
so the name that is being used for this will always be natural rate of unemployment but now this has become the convention but just just don't make this mistake of you know assuming that this is what is going to be the case irrespective of the situation so in that sense it's not natural okay all right so yes. what is what is natural rate of unemployment so the equilibrium unemployment rate where the price setting and wage setting the relations are in equilibrium all right this is called natural rate of unemployment okay so fine i will ask you a few questions so far you've understood everything wage setting relation price setting relation everything all good हमने किया था यू रिमेम्बर yes no so it's coming from there wage determination price determination okay so ye price determination ki jo equation thi ye humne directly yahan se use kiye from here okay price determination is giving you a price setting relation wage determination is giving you a wage setting relation theek hai okay haan ji theek hai to acha ab tell me one thing so we are going to understand a few situations and we will see how will that impact the natural rate of unemployment okay so situation 1 so let's say there is an increase in unemployment benefits okay there is an increase in unemployment benefits and the question is how does this impact the wage setting relation ws is wage setting ps is price setting and un which is the natural rate of unemployment okay is the question clear to us yes ma'am so humne bola ki unemployment benefits have increased so isse wage setting relationship pe kya impact hoga isse price setting relationship pe kya impact hoga and because of the impact on these two relations how is this going to impact your natural rate of unemployment स्टेट so let's say if there is a ball which is staying here and i disturb it slightly 
it's going to move a little from here there and ultimately it's going to come back here only yes sir this is its natural position right uh, okay so i am now going to i am now showing you situations wherein if there are changes in the outside uh, phenomena uh, changes in the policies your unemployment rate doesn't remain the same at equilibrium it changes so it's not natural it is subject to change according to policy according to circumstances Okay. So don't let this term "natural" give you the impression that this is the state of the world. This is what I'm saying. Okay. Right. So, guys, how should we think about this? Tell me. आपने wage setting relationship समझ लिया, price setting relationship समझ लिया. और अब नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज व्हेन बोथ वेज सेटिंग एंड प्राइस सेटिंग आर इन इक्विलिब्रियम यू नो दिस मच नाउ इफ समबडी टेल्स यू देयर हैज बीन एन इंक्रीज इन अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट्स सो हाउ कैन यू थिंक अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू थिंक कि अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट्स अफेक्ट व्हिच रिलेशनशिप सो लेट्स स्टार्ट कंसीडरिंग द फर्स्ट वेज सेटिंग वेज सेटिंग रिलेशनशिप क्या है W by P is equals to F of U comma Z. So, is this relationship going to be impacted because of increase in unemployment benefits? Yes, ma'am. How? Positive. Yes, ma'am. कोई बात नहीं एक-एक करके बता दो. Ma'am. जी. If unemployment benefit were increases, then now uh, and the people will get a uh, job uh, wages, real wages less than that benefit. Then the uh, people will start thinking that instead of being employed, let's get unemployed. Let's get the unemployment benefits. Okay, so how will that impact your relationship? So uh, currently, let's say this is your real wage. This is your unemployment rate. This is your real wage. your current wage setting relationship looks like this what happens in the new situation let's say there was some value so first of all unemployment benefit impacts what unemployment rate no you are going two step ahead अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट की वजह से ये इक्वेशन में क्या चेंज होता है रियल वेज व्हाट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट वेयर डज इट कमिंग टू दिस इक्वेशन हाउ विल आई इनकॉर्पोरेट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट इन दिस इक्वेशन wages will be increases it will come under zero you are telling me the final results i am not asking for that i am saying in this equation where should i fit in the unemployment benefits z in the in z na z was my catch all yes. variable which yes. was capturing all these things yes yes so what happens to z it increases z increases right so if z increases what happens to unemployment uh, what happens to real wage it also increases right so ek baat batao ki pehle whatever was unemployment rate let's say it was 10% and earlier z was let's say whatever value with the new increase in z the new real wage will be at a higher level If even if the unemployment rate is at the same level, yes, ma'am. So what are we saying? कि अगर unemployment rate पहले इतना था और इतनी real wage मिल रही थी, अब with increase in unemployment benefits at this unemployment rate, people will start asking for higher wages, ना? Yes, ma'am. 
Absolutely. And this is going to happen at every single level of unemployment rate. Yes. So, here people will start asking this. Maybe here people will start asking this. People will start asking this. So, they'll start asking higher real wages at every single level of unemployment rate. Na? Yes, sir. So, because of this change, what happens? Your wage setting relationship moves upwards. Yes, ma'am. Yes. This was, let's say, Z. This is Z prime. Z changes to Z prime. Z prime is greater than Z, right? This was weight setting in the beginning. This was weight setting new relationship. Is this clear to everyone? Yes. yes. Any doubt in how this diagram has shifted upwards? This is fine? Ma'am? Yes. Please, ek baar repeat kar this. I am saying, what is this relationship telling you? Ye jo relationship hai, the wage setting, ye aapko kya bata raha hai? कि अगर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इतना हो तो वेज इतनी रखना अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट इतना हो तो वेज इतनी रखना इतना हो तो इतनी रखना यस यस ठीक है नाउ ओवरऑल इन द इकॉनमी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट्स हैव गॉन अप सो अगर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इतना था तो क्या लोग इतनी वेज में ही मान जाएंगे Uh, no, they want more wages. They want, they will ask for higher wages, slightly higher. Let's say they are asking for this. And this phenomena is going to happen at every single unemployment rate, na? Chai unemployment rate kuch bhi ho. Log pehle se to zada hi real wage demand karenge, na? Yes. So, at every single unemployment rate, this relationship has gone up, na? Yes, sir. So, this is your new wage setting relationship with a higher value of Z. Right? Okay. Everybody, guys, all good? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Chalo, very good. So, ye to ho gaya ki if unemployment benefits change, what happens to wage setting relationship? Acha, tell me, how does unemployment benefit increase impacts the uh, price setting relationship? Ma'am, it does not impact. So, was that a full stop or a question mark? No, no, no. It's a, I think uh, it, it won't impact because, ma'am, in the equation, it's not given. So, the price setting will remain the same horizontal line. Okay. Anybody else having any other opinions on this? Price setting change hona chahiye ya nahi? Given whatever is this. Ma'am, did it will not affect our markup? So, that, that is the question to you. Now, tell me, if you think unemployment benefits are going to impact the markup, then de that definitely it will change. But if you think that unemployment benefits are not going to impact the markup, then it's not going to change. So, do unemployment benefit benefits impact the markup that is the question now what is markup no, dependent on ma'am it will not affect them because markup is the uh, a, a firm charges more price related to its cost than markup is that and unemployment benefit is given by the government yeah so basically even if the people or, you know, uh, even if the government announces that they are going to charge, uh, I mean, they're going to provide more benefits, the firm is not going to change its decision of how high they should be pricing, right? Yes, ma'am. So, M or unemployment benefit ka koi relationship hum to nahi nikal pa rahe hai, right? Yes, ma'am. So, ye relationship jaisa tha, ye vaisa hi rahega? 
तो ये जो रिलेशनशिप था ये कैसा था इट वॉज समथिंग लाइक दिस This was one upon one plus m. What was so now? If you look at it, this was my unemployment rate U N natural rate of unemployment. Right now, and after this change, what happened? U N increases. U N increases. so what happened because of increase in unemployment benefits natural rate of unemployment increases natural rate of unemployment increased so un increased because of increase in unemployment benefits if i have to explain why this happened why the natural rate of unemployment increased and what happened to real wage real wage utni hi rahi ya change hui real wage remains the same right yes yes sir hai na तो अब ये मैं मुझे ये बताओ कि रियल वेज सेम रही लेकिन नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंक्रीज सो व्हाई डिड दैट हैपन ये क्यों हुआ मैम बिकॉज़ यस रिदिमा गो अहेड मैम बिकॉज़ इन दिस केस व्हेन रियल वेज रिमेंस द सेम देन नाउ इफ द वर्कर्स आर गिवन दिस अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट बेनिफिट सो दे विल टेंड दे विल बी थिंकिंग दैट इफ माय रियल वेज इज नॉट इंक्रीजिंग देन आई विल लीव द जॉब एंड दैट विल क्रिएट मोर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इन द इकॉनमी सो दैट्स व्हाई नेचुरल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग सो दैट इज वेरी वन दैट इज वेरी गुड लाइन ऑफ आर्गुमेंट इन वन सेंस इन द इन अनदर सेंस व्हाट कैन वी से we can say that the workers uh, that the firms don't want to pay them more they want to pay them the same amount of real wage yes the workers are not ready to accept that real wage jo pehle wo log pehle is unemployment rate pe wo accept kar rahe the is real wage ko ab isi unemployment rate pe they are demanding this right right ma'am so when will they accept this same lower level of real wage if there is a higher level of unemployment in the economy yes sir right so if there is a higher level of unemployment in the economy only then they will be ready to start accepting the same real wage at this unemployment rate you can't force them to accept the same real wage they'll they'll demand this If you want them to demand this, the unemployment rate in the economy will have to go up, right? Yes, ma'am. ठीक है. So, what is my final conclusion here? This at a given unemployment rate. higher higher unemployment benefits what do higher unemployment benefits lead to so higher unemployment benefits lead to a higher real wage so a higher unemployment rate is needed to bring the real wage back to what the firms 
are willing to pay. Is that okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what are we saying? Ki at any given unemployment rate, at any given unemployment rate, if the uh, unemployment benefits increase, people start asking for higher real wage. But if the firm only wants to pay them this much, you know, then unemployment rate will have to go up if you want them to accept the same real wage, right? Is this phenomena clear? You know, these kind of questions come. Explain the, so what happens if unemployment benefits increase? What happens if minimum wages go up? If I ask you the question, what happens if minimum wages go up? What is going to happen? It's going to be the same situation? Yes, ma'am. This is also like increase in Z? Yes, ma'am. Yes. If I ask you the question uh, based on, you know, what happens if uh, more uh, uh, labor-friendly uh, rules are coming into picture, how will that impact? That will also increase Z? Yes, ma'am. So, right? So, if any activity is increasing Z, you are going to have the same analysis repeated. If you see any activity which is decreasing Z, you will just reverse the process. So, initial would be this, final would be this. Right now, what is happening? This is initial, this is final. Right? Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this analysis clear? Ho gaya? Yes, ma'am. Okay, G, very nice. So similar. Ma'am, uh, ma did we say that the, uh, if the unemployment benefit were increases by the government, it will cause uh, 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 more unemployment in an economy? We are not saying what is actually happening. We are saying if there is equilibrium in this situation, na, if we want to bring equilibrium in both, what people are ready to accept and what the uh, firms are willing to pay, then there will be more unemployment. Okay, ma'am. Um, uh, uh, in during a COVID time, ma'am, uh, mm -hmm. where when the government gave the huge amount of unemployment benefit to the people, mm -hmm. uh, those who live, those who uh, are with, uh, uh, labor who is traveling from one state to another. Mm -hmm. uh, ma'am, did it will cause uh, at the end that time and did government try to uh, put the equilibrium market to it? Government kabhi kuch... Uh, see, government is not thinking about this diagram. Government, okay. government is not thinking to bring equilibrium here. People are getting unemployed. There is no... Uh, in any foreseeable future, they don't see anybody getting work. They don't see anybody going out of their houses. It is an emergency situation. So out yes. of an emergency response, they are doing that. It was an emergency situation. It was not a normal step. Ma'am, uh, did we say that the government is more emphasized on a uh, current employment rate as compared to the national employment rate? Natural rate of unemployment is not something which is in government hand. Ye to automatically price setting, wage setting se a jayega. Okay. Government fir sochegi ki wo kya kare? Kis tarike ki policies leke aaye? Yes, sir. If you want to really think in those terms, so now you can think ki... Uh, First of all, uh, pe people, the firms will also not be willing to pay very high real wages to workers because they also don't have any profits at that time. They are also at the brink of shutting down. Yes, sir. There are, you know, pay cuts. There are layoffs. People are being paid half salary. So that situation was entirely different. Okay. okay, both sides of the market as, are being affected during that time. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah. So, what we were saying is that similar analysis will follow if 
you know, let's say minimum wages increase. Okay. All right. This part, this question, this entire situation is clear to you? Yes. Okay. Let me bring one more situation to you. Chalo. Let's next situation. Situation two. What is my next situation? My situation is this. Achha, can you guys tell me what is antitrust law? Antitrust law kya hota hai? Kisi ne ye shabd suna hai? Aur agar suna hai to iska kya matlab hota hai? No, not heard. Guys, any guesses? What is antitrust law? Maybe related to employment. It is nothing related to unemployment or employment. Achha, mujhe ek baat batao. How many telecom companies are there in India? There are multiple. Can you name some big companies, telecom companies? Mobile, SIM card wali company, telecom company bohti hai, theek hai? Kaun kaun si company hai? Jo SIM, SIM, mobile phone, recharge, wo wali companies. Geo. Geo. Very good. Or uske alawa, Airtel. और उसके अलावा वोडाफोन वोडाफोन ठीक है और बीएसएनएल भी है एक यस मैम आइडिया आइडिया की सिम्स चलती है अभी <laughs> मतलब मैंने तो बहुत टाइम से आइडिया का नाम नहीं सुना है मतलब आइडिया है बट इफ पीपल आर एक्चुअली यूजिंग दैट और नॉट आई एम नॉट श्योर मान लेते हैं ये चार बोलो बोलो कौन सा बोल रहे हो अच्छा आइडिया हैज मर्ज विद वोडाफोन ठीक है एनीवेज लेट्स से कि देयर आर फोर कंपनीज ठीक है जिसमें से बीएसएनएल इज गवर्नमेंट ओन्ड and people don't usually prefer bsnl sims why network issues things like that right and mostly jo challenging terrains hote hain wahan pe ye network zyada use hota hai right yes ma'am abhi recently india mein ek bahut popular event chal raha tha kya ho raha tha फॉलो Yes, ma'am. They also announced increase in their recharge plans. ठीक है? है कि नहीं? Yes, ma'am. तो अब एक बात बताओ. Every almost every Indian is either using a Jio SIM or using an Airtel SIM or using a Vodafone SIM. Once in a blue moon, I mean, very few people are using BSNL. मान लो majority बोल दो. Eighty percent जनता is using this ना. रफ एस्टिमेट भी मान लें तो बीस परसेंट मान लो ये लोग यूज कर रहे हैं दिस इज जस्ट सम रफ एग्जांपल ठीक है ये है ना एट्टी परसेंट पीपल 
are being are using these services only yes ma'am so now everybody is facing high price suddenly of the recharge why maybe because of government law what yeah. government why government law where is government coming here ma'am he government kahan se aa gayi yahan pe batao no ma'am there is no government but here because jio has increased so there is a competition between everyone so hmm. everyone has increased their prices so competition to aise karo na ki paise kam rakho baki log fir jio se idhar aayenge कंपटीशन प्राइस राइज करने का थोड़ी होता है अपना ठीक है ये भी लोग बोल रहे हैं कि ये इसलिए हो रहा होगा बट आप एक बात बताओ ये चीज किसी भी कारण से हुई है मे बी बिकॉज ऑफ फाइव जी जियो एंड लॉन्च तो ये अभी एकदम से जियो के अनाउंस करते ही इन्होंने क्यों अनाउंस कर दिया मे बी बिकॉज दे फॉर्म अ कार्टल तो कार्टल फॉर्म करने का क्या मतलब हुआ If uh, I increase the price, then it means you also increase the price. So why why did they they not announce it first? Airtel ne kyu pehle announce nahi kara fir? Then maybe because uh, Ammani son is going to marry. Ammani is what? Ammani son, Anand Ammani is going to marry him. Oh God! ठीक है the entire discussion. Boils down to one single thing कि तीन ही major companies है right जिसमें से आज के दिन जो भी आप परसेंटेज देखोगे मेजोरिटी लोग जियो या फिर एयरटेल यूज कर रहे हैं वोडाफोन भी आई थिंक काफी कम लोग यूज कर रहे हैं जितना मैंने अपने आस पड़ोस में देखा है मैं बहुत कम लोगों को जानती हूँ जो अभी वोडाफोन यूज कर रहे हैं आई एम नॉट श्योर अबाउट योर एक्सपीरियंसेस बट मोर और लेस ऐसा ही है ना तो बहुत कम कंपनीज के बीच में जो है पूरी मार्केट पावर डिवाइड हो चुकी है राइट yes, right? जब बहुत yes. ही लिमिटेड कंपनीज के पास इतना सारा कंज्यूमर बेस होता है तो दे बिकम मोर एंड मोर पावरफुल राइट देर इज देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ दीज पीपल collaborating in secret kyunki agar ye ek dusre se jhagadte rahenge maan lo if they are competing with each other sabka profit lose ho raha hai sabke consumers lose honge yes yes ma'am lekin agar ye log hands join kar le aapas mein aur decide kare ki hum ek sath price announce karenge ताकि कोई इधर उधर जाए ही ना मान लो एयरटेल प्राइस बहुत कम रखता और जियो एकदम से बढ़ा देता तो जो इंसान बहुत प्राइस सेंसिटिव है वो तो बोलता ना कि ठीक है ना सिम लेना कौन सा प्रॉब्लमेटिक काम है एक दिन में सिम मिल जाती है है कि नहीं तो प्राइस सेंसिटिव पीपल वुड हैव शिफ्टेड ना बट एयरटेल ने भी इंक्रीज कर दिया तो ना वॉट इज दिचुएशन जो पहले जो यूज कर रहा था वो वही यूज करेगा Everybody is going to pay higher price. That's all, right? Ma'am, but as a like, why is it, is the, uh, is that possible? Because if we are in the competitive market and this is our chance to you know grow more, so hmm. why is Airtel doing this thing? Like Jio ne kar diya if they are increase increasing their prices, so Airtel could remain at its price and become and have a good growth rate. So why did it do? So now you see, now you research on what is happening to telecom sector. Telecom sector is very loss making. Or Jio ne, okay, yeah. Or Jio ne starting me kya kiya tha? Free me sab kuch kiya tha. Bahut lamby period of time tak. 
यस तो जो लोग थोड़ा बहुत प्रॉफिट कमा भी रहे थे उनका वो प्रॉफिट भी लूज हो गया राइट मैम अगर बहुत ही लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ कंपनी है कहीं पे तो देर इज अ चांस ना कि वो लोग आपस में एक कार्टल फॉर्म कर ले एक अपना ग्रुप बना ले और बोलेंगे हम सब साथ में ही प्राइस इंक्रीज करेंगे तुम भी बेनिफिट लो मैं भी बेनिफिट लेती हूँ है ना हो सकता है ऐसा यस yes, मैम तो फिर क्या ये कॉमन इंसान के लिए अच्छी बात है नो मैम कॉमन इंसान के लिए तो बिल्कुल अच्छी बात नहीं है तो फिर क्या होगा तो इस चीज पे रोक लगनी चाहिए राइट right, मैम so, वो रोक कौन लगाएगा गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट तो गवर्नमेंट क्या करेगी गवर्नमेंट लॉज लेके आएगी कि आप इस तरीके की चीजों में अगर पकड़े जाते हो कि आप आर्टिफिशियली इस सिचुएशन को यू you नो know, फैब्रिकेट कर रहे हो तो आप पे फाइन लगेगी आप पे एक्शन लिया जाएगा राइट right? राइट yes. right, तो इस तरीके के जो लॉज होते हैं जिससे सरकार जो है क्या करती है कंपटीशन जो भी किल करना चाह रहा है उस चीज को टैकल करती है उस तरीके के लॉज को क्या बोलते हैं एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉ ठीक है एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज सो आज के बाद नहीं भूलोगे ना एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज क्या होते हैं नो एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज क्या होते हैं सो द रेगुलेशन विच इनकरेज कॉम्पिटिशन बाय लिमिटिंग द मार्केट पावर मार्केट पावर of any particular firm ठीक है इस तरीके के जो भी लॉज होते हैं उनको हम बोलते हैं एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉ ठीक है इज आर ओके तो पढ़ना इंडिया में किस किस तरीके के एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज हैं क्या क्या हैं किसी ने ये सुना है कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया कॉम्पिटिशन ओके कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया किसी ने सुना है आज तक कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया क्या होता है सी सी आई ये होता है कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया का क्या काम है कॉम्पिटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया का काम है ये इंश्योर करना कि बिजनेसेस के बीच में कंपटीशन रहे कोई भी कंपनी इतनी पावरफुल ना हो जाए कि वो पॉलिटिक्स को इकोनॉमी को बहुत ही बड़े लेवल पे वो डिक्टेट करने लग जाए कंज्यूमर्स की सिचुएशन को वो बड़े लेवल पे डिक्टेट करने लग जाए ठीक है तो देयर गोल इज टू प्रमोट कंपटीशन बिटवीन बिजनेसेस ओके, सो पढ़ना थोड़े से लॉज बताना मुझे कि कैसे कैसे लॉज हैं इस मुद्दे पे ठीक है चलो इस पे थोड़ी सी रिसर्च करना दिस इज गुड यू शुड नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स अच्छा तो हमारी सिचुएशन नंबर टू क्या है कि अगर ये जो एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज हैं ये थोड़े से ये रेगुलेशन हैं ये थोड़े से वीक कर दिए गए हैं या ये वीक हो गए हैं लोअर एंटी ट्रस्ट रेगुलेशन या ऐसे कह सकते हो लोअर की जगह लेस स्ट्रिंजेंट कम लेस स्ट्रिंजेंट कर दिए गए हैं 
लेस स्ट्रिक्ट अगर लेस स्ट्रिक्ट कर दिए जाते हैं एंटी ट्रस्ट रेगुलेशन तो इसका क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा हमारी वेज सेटिंग रिलेशनशिप पे प्राइस सेटिंग रिलेशनशिप पे एंड नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव क्वेश्चन समझ आ गया यस हाउ विल दिस इम्पैक्ट वेज सेटिंग रिलेशन प्राइस सेटिंग रिलेशन एंड नेचुरल रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट This is the question. ठीक है चलो अब बताओ इसको किस तरीके से सोचोगे हाउ यू थिंक अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम तो पहले तो ये सोचो कि ये क्या चीज है और ये किस चीज को इम्पैक्ट कर सकती है वेट सेटिंग रिलेशनशिप इज दिस डब्ल्यू बाई पी इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ यू कॉमा जेट सेकेंड डब्ल्यू बाई पी इज इक्वल टू One upon one plus n. This is weight setting. This is price setting. Okay, ji. Then weight setting will not get impacted. Okay, why? Uh, well, because uh, if the uh, government has lower the uh, antitrust law regulation, then uh, the companies which were in the market. Uh, they will uh, uh, they will try to increase the prices hmm. which which will cause uh, yes uh, which will uh, and it will impact that is okay why kis cheez ko impact karega ye ma'am here i think that the price setting would be impacted because uh when we talk about m then it's the markup value which says that the prices can be higher than your cost so mm -hmm. in this situation when government is you know uh, it's applying this anti trust law then they are trying to regulate the prices of mm -hmm. this of the firms so the firms will reduce the prices and it will impact this price setting mm, not the weight setting relationship then but Uh, did it will not impact the overall price level, which is P, if the government uh, try to lower the strength of the antitrust law? Antitrust law stri less stringent होने का क्या मतलब है? Less strict हो रहे हैं anti stringent law. इसका क्या मतलब है? What does that mean? Now there is a less eye of a government over the firm, uh, and they try to uh, reduce the competition. So they are unable to reduce competition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that means firms are able to create more market power, more monopoly situation. Yes, ma'am. So is does that give you more power to charge higher prices over cost? Yes, yes sir. So what does that mean to the markup? Ma'am, but uh, it will not mean to the markup directly. But uh, I think it will directly impact the P, which is a price level. Okay, price. Okay, price. How does it impact the firm? Firm price is a little deciding. Firm price is a deciding. Firm is not deciding that this is my price. Firm is deciding that okay, this is my cost. This is my market. Okay, ma'am. And based on that. The price is automatically determined. Yes, sir. Wage is not in the firm's hand. Competition is not impacting wages. Competition is impacting yes. the markup. Now firms do have the potential of charging a higher markup over cost because they are not scared of government action. Yes. Yes, sir. So, is the markup increase who are now? Yes, sir. So, markup increased. Is markup increase? Is entry trust ki wajah se kya worker ki koi bargaining power mein koi parivartan hua, koi change hua? Is there any change in the bargaining power of workers? No. No, their situation is exactly the same. 
So this relation is not getting impacted at all. This is getting impacted, right? Yes, ma'am. So how is that impacting? So if I make my diagram like this, this is my weight setting relationship. This is U. This is W by P. This was earlier my price setting. This was my weight setting. This is 1 upon 1 plus M. Let's say new markup is M prime. M prime is greater than M. So if and there will be downward shift in the uh, price setting. So if M prime is bigger, one upon one plus one plus M prime is less than one upon one plus M, right? Yes, ma'am. So that is going to decrease this price uh, setting relation from here to P S prime. So earlier, your natural rate of unemployment was this. Now what is this? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Right? So, okay, Manju Singh, ma'am, how markup increased? Please explain. Okay. So, now the law has become less strict. The government is not keeping an eye on who is not, you know, uh, following comparative practices or, or not. So, now it's easier for people to charge higher prices. So that means the firm is more powerful now and it can charge higher price over its cost. So that means increase in market, right? Yeah. So this is what is happening. And because of increase in M prime, because of increase in M prime, what is happening? This relationship has gone down to 1 upon 1 plus M prime. Theke? Now, what is happening? Your weight setting relationship is, is exactly the same. The firm is now willing to, because, you know, the firm is charging higher price, more price. So, the real weight that is being offered to the workers is less. Real wage that is being offered. Real wage being offered to the workers offered by the firms by the firm decreases and in order to accept that lower real wage the unemployment rate should be higher yes The workers should be, you know, workers, if there is higher unemployment rate, only then they will be willing to accept this lower real wage, right? So my natural rate of unemployment, UN, increases in this situation. You know? So UN increases and W by P decreases because firms have become more powerful they are charging more prices what will happen they will start giving their workers lesser amount of wages real wage right all right guys this is good yes ma'am okay so what we have seen two different situations Okay. Yes, rate of unemployment changes because of changes in policy. So this is not natural. It is subject to change based on situations. Okay. All right. So guys, a very small portion is left now. Very small portion of this particular chapter is left. So we will be doing that in the next class. Apart from that, once the entire discussion is over, I will be sharing some questions, one liner. One liners. So that you can get practice on MCQs and all of that. Okay. MCQ based or one liner problems. 
So that also we will be doing. We will be doing that in class. In the next class. Okay? Then, G? Uh, is it possible for you to send uh, more uh, 5 mark question and 10 mark question? I will be bifurcating the past year question. So you'll get good enough ideas from there. Men, uh, more question, not a five-year question. Men. A question which we get like in exams. Uh -huh. Past year questions, I'm saying. Past year, past year papers. Okay. Past year question based on this topic, I will be bifurcating and sharing. Don't worry. Hmm. Uh, I was not to ask you about past year, but uh, the question which you think are possibilities of question which came in the exam like that. So we can first do the past year questions. And we can also look at the back exercises. Okay. For this. Okay. okay. And if something is expected, I will also create two, uh, I mean, five markers as well from this topic. Don't worry. We'll do that. But all of this is to be done after the chapter is entirely over so that everybody is clear with the concept and then they can keep doing the practice. Okay? In the middle of it, I won't be sharing. So don't expect that in the middle only. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Okay, Thank guys. You. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.